Hello, Josie here again. Uh, so continuing on with our um, redressing into the leather sets for my girls. Um, so right now I have my Fairyland Ingrid. Um, the outfit I was hoping to put on her did not fit. It was an Ipple House SID Athea, I believe, um, set and she's too broad across the shoulders to fit it and a little snug in here as well and her chest so instead we are going to be putting on a combination of her outfit uh, these are sartorial J pants and these are some absolutely gorgeous boots that I got off of um, legend dolls and I can't remember the name of the company who, who did them uh, they come in other colors also, which I want to get the entire range of colors because they're fantastic and they fit a wide range of different dolls that I own, so that's really great. So those boots also. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I also want to point out that um, you may remember her from a couple of videos I've done. So I actually really liked the face up that I had for this doll, however it got damaged. Um, little accident here at home uh, so I ended up sending her away to uh, to Vita Vera now uh, Vita Vera she actually had a gouge in um, across one eye here uh, so Vita Vera had boiled the head or the faceplate I should say the faceplate and um, and uh, trying to get that that resin to pop out a little bit so that it, she didn't have to do quite so much sanding well, it kind of altered the doll head a little bit. Um, so now I have to use, uh, I actually had to do some modifications in here to get this to fit on the neck properly so I could use the turn. And then uh, in order to get it to fit, I have to use a little bit of tacky stuff here. So I just use the same eye putty that you we use for the eyes to hold the eyes in and it works fine. Um, I absolutely love the face-up that she did. Um, but I mean, I love all of her face-ups that she's done for me, which is why I keep going to her, because she's brilliant. So, um, yeah, so let's get started on this one. So, really nice thing about Fairylands, and I've pointed this out so many times before, is where with all my other dolls, the string ones, I have to use these uh, or remove their hands and use these. Um, with Fairylands, their hands are magnetic. They come off. I don't have to use these. Uh, same with their feet. Makes getting these snug pants on a whole lot easier. So yeah, fantastic. Gotta love that. I actually love her full set. If you've uh, watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I am drawn to dolls whose full sets I love. Uh, I'm that's that's their big, big selling feature for me is what are they wearing. Uh, now, having said that, I have so many. Um, Ipple House and uh, Satorial J clothes that at this point if the doll is amazing and I love the doll I I don't necessarily have to love their clothes so before I'll buy the doll but in most cases it never does hurt because again I am drawn to the clothes these feet on. Gotta love magnetic feet. So easy to do. And oh squeaky chair. Man, I really need to replace this thing.
These boots are really soft and because they are lace up, you can really get a nice snug fit and it doesn't really seem to matter what kind of doll. Um, I've had them on a wide variety of dolls actually and they always seem to fit. So this one here, you can see, I did a pre-fit before I did this because again, like I said, I knew that the, or I wanted to test the Athea outfit first. When that was a flop, I did a couple of different ideas to see what I was I wanted her in for this photo shoot, um, just to see what I wanted. So, and then I actually undressed her. So that's why this boot is already done up and this one's not. Because, uh, yeah, because I, Tested different boots also, not just not just clothes. I actually have um, my very first um, Fairyland guy on layaway. Um, he is a the the F sixty five Rick um, or Ricky. I can't recall. Um, but uh, I've never owned an F sixty five before uh, male, or actually, I've never owned a. Fairyland male, no matter the size. So I am very much looking forward to seeing him. And I should get him about, I think it's October, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, very excited about that. Oh, time to burn that part off a little bit. Children, don't do this at home. Ah, this isn't for children anyways. Oh, that one too. I quite honestly don't recall the reason why I unlaced these unless I simply forgot that they actually have a uh, um, a zipper in the back because I have been known to be that uh, brain dead some days when I'm undressing and dressing dolls so entirely possible I'm not gonna lie but uh, in this case I shouldn't actually have un completely unlaced these boots because I, I didn't need to. All right. Okay, well, that was quick. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her back on her stand, uh, get her head back on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, wig, um, and then I'm going to take her over to the, uh, the photo uh, area, and I, you, I will have you join me there. All right, be right back. All right, we're back with uh, my um, Fairyland Ingrid. So here she is. I'm going to do a slow body pan for her. And she is looking all sorts of fabulous in this outfit. And loving those boots. All right, and coming back up. So beautiful. All right, now we're going to bring it back a little bit, see if we can't get the whole crew that we have so far in there. And there they are. 
Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to take a, a few steps back, get a better overall photo or, or video of them. Uh, so hold on one second. All right, so here's the crew right now. So five very lovely ladies. I still have one more lady to redress. So we'll get her here. Um, and then all of the ladies... Uh, so there's actually seven ladies. One, two, three. Yeah, seven, but one's already dressed. So I'll bring her out. She'll be the surprise at the end. Um, and then once the ladies are done, then I will start redressing the men. And I have, I believe, three of them that need to be redressed. So uh, stay tuned. Please come back for the next video um, for the, um, the next lady to be redressed. And I will be posting photos on my Instagram. So as always, please uh, follow along there. Uh, and that is Josie underscore BJD Dolls. And um, leave me a comment, like and share, and follow me here. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.